Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Last episode, April May took the stand and was acting kind of weird. And now we are going to cross-examine the bellboy. So we're going to see what Let's he has to say. get it on. Oh boy. The court holds the hotel bellboy to the stand. Dun 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 Don't lie. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Whatever the fuck that means. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. Why did you bring the tray? That, he said, looks rather heavy. So, without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. Give me Very good, sir. Give me the cookies. I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel, in business for four generations. I'm actually the only bellboy we have. <laughs> I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for a nice coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. She looks like a completely different person in this. He does. <laughs> and Miss May doesn't look like a bitch. Well, I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right, I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now, my will be finished. <laughs> Why are you smiling? <laughs> oh boy. All right, my guy. Right, oh, bar. are you? Are you really the head bellboy? Why does she want to be so specific? Precisely nine o'clock then. <laughs> Precisely. <Fucking> yes. <laughs> exactly, and most definitely, sir. Nine p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that I be brought then. Oh, bellboy. Tee. <laughs> I'd like, <laughs> like, iced coffee at exactly 9 o'clock. Something like that, sir. Did you have to do that verbatim? Yes. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of 9 o'clock, sir. And therefore, I knocked on her crack. And... <laughs> Why would she be so particular about the time? It beats me. Maybe for murder? I don't know. You were sure it was Miss April May herself. Absolutely, sir. Never do that again. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. <laughs> How come you're so very certain? Well, uh, when I brought the room service, sir. Uh, I she... don't remember this right. Yes, sir. She favored me with them. Embracer. Bro. Embrace? You... I don't fucking know how to say that. What the fuck? Embracer? <laughs> Is that French for embrace? Embracio. It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More like a peck on the cheek. No, I, mean, I wish you French kiss. <laughs> Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember. Grr. Dots. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is, is that it? That's it. Piss, piss. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. No. If you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm. It was a bit tedious. I just said that. The wind is my lead to stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Yeah, yeah I give up. Oh, wait! Please wait! Yes. Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone long enough. Now, now, Miss Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question, that's all. <laughs> bad, Miles. Psst, bad. Okay. This is really it. Now, this is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Don't fuck it up. Bed making. <laughs> <laughs> Be no, bed making. No, no, no! Tell me about making the beds that day. I was wondering what you were going to ask, but bed making, a new love. Shut up, man. Now, now, Miss Dudgeworth. Now, boys, play nice. Mr. You're Witness both... will answer the fence's question. You're both very pretty. Yes, well, it was quite like any other day's bed making. I changed the sheets, uh, pillowcases, and then I proceeded to make the bed. I had to bring pillows for two, of course. But they're quite light, as you see. I see. Make... <laughs> Hold up. Pillows. For two? For two? That's more than one. Bellboy, what did you just say? 
Are you deaf? C Christ. Ah, yes, uh, pillows are light, sir. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. I, I do have a name. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? Oh, shit. I object. That was objectionable. The fuck? Wow. Big no. word. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Ah, uh, yes, I, I see. Well, after promptly getting my dick sucked, I... Uh, why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, uh, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. I genuinely don't remember that sprite. I like, do. I, I'm nice literally try. like... What the hell? That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, uh, yes, quite. Indeed. It was the, uh, good barista there, uh, Miss Dirtworth, who... <gasps> he asked me not to mention it if I was specifically asked, sir. Gasp! You dumbass! You, you fool! What do I get out of it? I'm going to actually kill you now. <laughs> I've done it. I've won! Not so fast, fuckstick! I win. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct? Yes, sir. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Then when you brought the room service, you didn't see that man in the room. That's right, sir. Oh my god. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. Edgeworth's just over there like, what the fuck? <laughs> in light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Are you dumb? Simple, it was... The man, Miss the Bellboy. Miss <laughs> April May herself. The man who checked in with Miss May. <laughs> like, are you stupid? Your Honor, as he is, ha as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. Mm. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The Bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. M my, what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Bet. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? What the hell is that supposed to be? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Upstart. Amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Wow, all these big, big words. Big words. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. No. Am I understood? Fucking yeah, I guess. <sighs> Your Honor. <laughs> yes. <gasps> that is all today for the trial of Maya Fay. Guilty. The court is adjourned. Hey, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. September 7th, 2.24pm, District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. I was gonna say 2. Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there! I know. Really? No, I'm just kidding. You suck. I think I might be your newest fan. Well, damn. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. And soon <laughs> she will be his biggest bully. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. No, he fucking sucks. Huh? That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips? It sent shivers up my spine. What do you mean down your spine? Hmm, if you say so. So, what happens with me? You die. Oh, fuck. Do I get to go home now? No. Uh, well, no, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms will work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later, even though I don't want to. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... This male. Maybe so. Yes. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. I know you are. One, two, three. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. May testimony added to the court record. I don't know how much good this will do me at all, now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. To be continued right now. Alright, uh, we, could, we could probably keep going. Yeah, we, we can still have some time. Saving, do not turn off the ding. 
dingling. All right. Uh. Bleh, bleh. Number seven, three eleven. Uh, well, hello. Why do we have to start with you? I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. <laughs> yeah, it sucks to be you. You can't go anywhere. Not you, stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. <laughs> not seriously. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be at. Well, too fucking bad. I wouldn't tell you anyway. Haven't you done enough questioning, you bitch? <laughs> Spiky head. <laughs> Ace Attorney was rated R. Yeah, honestly, you fuck stick. <laughs> Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. Uh, Actually, I'm pretty okay. My avatars are at the ready. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then? You're hmm? so freaking messed up. For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? <laughs> Actually. Aw, oh, yeah. Hey, guess what? I don't <laughs> give a shit. Actually, I have really hate your guts. So get lost. Because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. If she ever said anything to me, I would probably start crying. Like, that is <laughs> so mean. I'm not the man who's staying with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Joe's. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe if I have something to get her to talk. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. I mean, it is. Uh, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school? No, it's called fucking reading the law. <laughs> Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Ugh, that does it! Bottom-feeding scum-sucking lawyer! Alright, you're a total bitch. Bottom? I can tell, but <laughs> does she have a thing against lawyers? Or just against me? Alright, uh, screw you then. We're gonna... Uh, actually, uh, fuck you. Uh, fuck you! Scar monitors Oh, uh, yeah, it's just... No, that was different. Then maybe he doesn't see a lot of women <laughs> like Miss May in here. Alright, Grodyberg. What's up? Oh, my <laughs> god! Where's the painting? <gasps> huh. Looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. It's the painting that was worth like 30 million thousand dollars! Oh man, maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Did the bear see who took the painting? <gasps> there's a- there's a picture on the- th 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 Alright. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written on the pencil in the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A. DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Oh, whoa. Let's take a look at these. Wow, Grossberg has a picture of this man. Oh, hello! This might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Who's I'm just gonna this, steal it. Who's this ugly man? I'm just man? borrowing it, and I'll return it later. Alright. Um. Hey, yo! Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance day, if I dare say so myself. Oh, uh, thanks. Sorry for putting you in a spot like that. No, no, not at all, you sir. You will never be forgiven. I cannot forgive you. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used the wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It'll be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're on both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Yeah, April, May, and I'm Puffs. sorry. All I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I was putting a bunch of evidence. <laughs> about Miss May... Oh, her. Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. No, you didn't. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. 
if you had a photo of the man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Oh, well, what do you know? We do. <laughs> a photo? Hmm. Like this? Could you tell me about this note? Hotel? Note? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Learn Currently, English. <laughs> this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose we add a subtitle. A subtitle. The Gatewater Hotel. The murder matter. Well, what do you think? Uh, sounds great. Whatever flows your tea set. Alright, look at this. Oh, this man is hideous. <laughs> Take a look at this photo. Butt Chin McGee. This man is disgusting. <laughs> the music That's cut him. out and everything. <laughs> this man is foul. <laughs> That's him, detective. I'm not a detective. Uh, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective ones. You know how it is. No, I no, don't. I, no, I don't. <laughs> I didn't think that was what he was going to say. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss Mabel May. Miss Maple May. <laughs> <laughs> How about I write an affidavit swearing that it's him? An affidavit? This guy's way too excited about this. Well, sure. Why not? Yes. Oh my god. I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write the fucking thing. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Not even Miss May can play dumb in this. Time to go body her. Doo -doo, doo -doo. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? I'm just gonna go. Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? Yeah. <laughs> you don't just have a spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. Okay, whatever. Oh, uh, false, I have no heart. That does it. When I'm done with this case, when, when this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Bald Phoenix. Hey, why don't you take a take a look at this? Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times I'm not telling you. <gasps> Where did you? Ha ha. Aha! A reaction. <laughs> this is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? Shut up. It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. Who else would have? purple hair like this. They're related to you. And they're pink. No, no, that's not right. Oh my god. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. That's not my name. Do you have proof that it was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Uh... Could you have a look at this? What's that? Read it. No. The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy? <gasps> now I'm getting somewhere. Push her hard. This is it, <laughs> all or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If indeed that's an act. The infamous bluff. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. <sighs> Fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Get fucked. Get wrecked. Yes! Here. Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? Uh... <clears throat> <laughs> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. Wow, Red White Blue? Oh my god. Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Fuck! Detective agency. Hmm. <laughs> so this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't care. I don't want to end up like her. <gasps> it's okay, I'll just ask Mr. White himself. I'll fight him. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? That's not wow. an answer. I'm going straight to the ellipses. <laughs> Mr. Red White at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. This Maple guy. May couldn't have done it. That leaves him. Time to take action. <laughs> Who's got two thumbs, purple hair, and ugly as fuck? <laughs> this guy. All right. And it looks like in the next episode, we're going to go talk to Red White. And we're going to go kill him. And yeah, hopefully beat the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, uh, catch you guys next time.